U.S. students are stuck in the middle of the pack when it comes to the nation, the worldwide test that tests, you know, student levels. And I've talked about this before. I actually did a segment on this um, on Fox News earlier this week. Um, U.S. teenagers showed little progress on international testing in math, science, and readings, um, which again led, which is, uh, which was again led by Shanghai, and Shanghai and Singapore, um, bolstering support for tougher standards in the United States. Now, let me tell you about this. So this whole thing is called the PIS. The PISA, excuse me, um, test, um, and it's called the Program for International Assessment. It's a Paris-based agency that sort of rates the world's education by this standardized test, right? Now, there's a couple problems here that I want to point out. So the reason why we're in this situation, why our kids aren't doing it, is because we're not making the right investments in education. If we want to fix our education system, we can't try to privatize it and use vouchers. We need to fix our public school system. You have to understand, 20, 30 years ago, America was number one in this survey with the same type of public infrastructure system. But back then, we cared about our teachers, we treated them fairly, we treated them equally. Now teachers have become these villains and we refuse to pay them salaries, we will close down schools, we have this high stakes testing environment and we think our kids are gonna perform well. We need to teach our kids reading, writing, and arithmetic. Not teach them how to take a law, how to respond, long form, short form, and, and, and bubble in some answers. We need to make an investment in America's education. And on top of that, parents aren't off the, oh, parents aren't off the hook here. You can't expect the teacher to teach your child how to pot, be potty trained, how to do their homework, and how to wipe their mouths. Parents need to get engaged and involved. It takes a village to raise a child, and that village includes great teachers, but it also includes greater parents. So what I'm saying to you today is we need to advocate for teachers, advocate for teachers to make more money, advocate and get rid of this high, st high stakes testing society and focus on teaching the basics. Test should be seen, like standardized testing should be seen as a benchmark, right? Not a, not a hurdle, a benchmark. Be very clear, not a hurdle. We have used standardized testing as a hurdle. If your school doesn't make it over this mark, we're going to close you. If your teacher doesn't make it over this mark, we're going to close you. It needs to be seen as a benchmark. Where are we in the learning process and how do we improve learning? How do we improve instruction? That is what the job of the test is there to do. We have turned them into something that they're not. It's part of the problem and not part of the solution. And we need to put, we need to make sure the best and the brightest are teaching and we need to treat, te treat teachers how we treat CEOs. <laughs>